you doing? I'm, I'm Raul Panther, and I uh, play synthesizer in the Proto Man. I'm Commander B. Hawkins, and I uh, play synthesizer in the Proto Man. That's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty cool. Oh, I'm Murphy Weller, and I play synthesizer in the Proto Man. That yeah, that's it. Yeah. I feel like, though, so far, it feels like we're just a synthesizer band. Yeah. Which is not true. We're, we're actually only like a third of the Proto Man. There's lots of other instruments. It's cheap. Guitars, Cadillacs, drums, drums, Billy music, drums, drums, drums. Um, what else we got? We got horse films. I make all kind of movies. Um, so yeah, we've got a three guitarists, uh -huh. three synthesizer players, one vocoder, which is pretty much another synthesizer. And then we have drums, and then we have a Kilroy. Most bands don't have a Kilroy. No, no other it's bands. Only have one band. That's they had a Kilroy for one tour, and then the band broke up. Yeah, because that Kilroy bankrupt. So yeah. Do you guys have any favorite TV shows? Ooh. God, yes. Yeah. Um, like current TV shows or past? I mean, Incredible Hulk. Uh, oh, yeah, you can go kind as far of, back as you want. Yeah. Incredible Hulk is one of the greatest, greatest TV shows ever made. Um, I, I just recently went back and watched all of the A Team. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's incredible. Nobody dies. No, they Nobody can't. dies in the whole show. No. They run around shooting and blowing up shit the whole show. Nobody gets yeah. hurt. Uh, Murder, She Wrote, yeah. people die in that a lot. True, she, much more than an A-team. Uh, J.B. Fletcher is the harbinger of death, and she's awesome. Yeah. Anytime she's around, someone's dead. Somebody's gonna die. Speaking of, we'll segue, my, my favorite show is Six Feet Under still. I went back and started watching it again just to see, did it hold up after 10 years? And it still rules. I'm in the middle of watching Dallas, though. Yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. fascinated with Dallas. Yeah. Yeah, man, it blows my mind that it got made. Yeah, there's no way that would be made today. No, no way. No way. Uh, Game of Thrones, good show. That is a good show. That, that is amazing. a good show. Uh, what uh, else? Oh, recently I've been watching The Americans. Also a really That's good show. Good. That's good. I'm not going to tell anybody this, but I like Supernatural a lot. God, you are terrible. Don't That's tell anybody. The rowiest, worst WB show it's, since Vampire Diaries. It, no, it's not. It, okay, it might be the broiest, but it's not the shittiest. It is by far the best one on that whole network, but I, I'm gonna, I can't really defend myself. <laughs> it's basically Knight Rider with two oh, dudes. You should just watch Knight Rider though. But I do watch Knight Rider, but then this one is Knight Rider with actual classic rock jams versus what they had to do in Knight Rider where they didn't have any money. And so they had to get somebody to cover the jams and it was always awful. Like every time you heard like a popular song pop into a Knight Rider episode yeah. of like a Sheena Easton song, it was or, or a Rick Springfield song, never them. And it's always sounded dumb. Even though I think Rick Springfield was actually in an episode or a few episodes. I can see that. So yeah. Anyway, and it probably wasn't even him singing. It was in, under contract, he couldn't sing that. Anyway. Yeah, continue. <laughs> Man, I started watching Magnum P.I. Yeah, We're just going to talk about TV shows yeah, for the rest so, of the day. So. Magnum P.I. barely holds up. Yeah. It only holds up because you want it to watch awesome. Tom Selleck. Yeah. That's it. it I mean, That's they could just... the only reason it lasted when it lasted. Absolutely. You know, Somehow Tom, Tom Selleck talked badass. them into flying over to Hawaii to just film him being charming. Mm -hmm. What do you need anything else? I you do not. Clearly. But yeah, what else? What else is there? There's Lots. some great TV There's shows. some great TV There's some shows. Oh, wait, let's not forget Eastbound and Down. Eastbound and Down. Yes. One of the best Lots. comedic arts of the four seasons. Of yeah. It's mesmerizing how good that show is. It kind of, it, it, it kills it at the end, too. Yeah. I was worried that it was going to just kind of end kind of crappily. To no way, man. Final scene. It's good. Oh, my God. It's a good In ending. The future. And it's mm -hmm. awesome. It's good. You guys have any celebrity lookalikes in the band? Oh, well, Canadians think that Commander looks like Jack Black. Yeah. Jack, all Canadians. Man. All Canadians. Kevin Smith. Do what? Kevin oh, Smith. he's got that. Man. I get that yeah, shit a lot. I got that. Um, and a 13-year-old girl interviewed us on Warped Tour. Thought he was emotionless, emotionless yeah. and white. Uh -huh. 
So that's she that's was really, really disappointed I, when she found out he wasn't emotionless. And then she was upset. A lot of people think I look like uh, James Earl Jones. <laughs> Yeah. Or uh, or uh, Shooter Jennings did. Oh, they do. Shooter's boy. No, shoot. No, it's it's it Waylon's boy. It's Waylon's boy. Like, boy. They think it looks like Shooter Jennings. They catch me in grocery stores and be like, "Hey, are you Waylon's boy?" And I'm like, "What do you mean?" And they're like, are "You Waylon's boy? I know. I, you, I, I was in a studio with you one time, and I, I mean, you we did some good stuff together, man. Like." Not oh, taking into account the fact I'm, that you should be like 20 to 30 years older. Yeah, if you're and, a shooter and a lot in better shape. <laughs> That's the thing. So, no, the only celebrity look like we have are our commander. He can look like anyone. I can be anybody. Did yeah. you guys um, all go to Middle Tennessee State University? Yeah. We three did, yeah. yeah. For a long time, that was uh, the whole band was made up of uh, Middle Tennessee State University kids. We sort of filtered them out now. We kicked them all out. But yeah, yeah, that's kind of where the band started. What's the most valuable lesson MTS uh, set you off, guys? Set you off with? Man, I think. Uh, I, I think probably, yeah, I don't know if it's a lesson, There's, there was a couple of teachers I think that taught us this lesson, but mostly we just figured it out, is that if you have a studio full of high-end gear, don't try to use it exactly like everybody else uses it. you got to experiment. And otherwise, what's, what, what are you doing? If you're just cranking out a record that sounds exactly like everybody else's record. Very cool. Yeah, that, meet people, hang out with people. Yeah. Find people who like to do cool shit. Don't be boring. And also meet people. You know, <laughs> like people like made people of meat. Made of meat. Made of I was, I was, that's where I was going. That's too. what I thought he was talking about. Was the meat, meat people? I really that like we the found. meat people that we hang out with. You I like to, the meat meat people. You can cook them and they taste great. Yeah, yeah. They're good people. A couple more guys. You have uh, any vocal warm ups? Oh man. Here, so pump up the jam. Pump it up. What? Is that? Yeah, that's, that's, that's one of them. That's okay. one of them. I just like to. Uh, I just like to hum lightly under my breath all of Kenny Rogers' music catalog. Yep. <laughs> that gives you all your range. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, there's some vocal warm-ups. Um, you do like full body vocal warm-ups. Yeah. It's, it's a thing. It's I found out that that the vocal cords are connected to the hip bone. And the hip bones connected to the ass bone. Exactly. So, so you, you gotta put things up your ass to warm up the same. I mean it, it's worked for me so far. Yeah. Now you gotta get loose. <laughs> get loose, brother. <laughs> Don't go and dry. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm Ralph Panther. I'm Commander B. Hawkins. I'm Murphy. You're watching ctmusicvideos.com. Keep it up. <laughs>